Hi, I'm Bill Ritchie, and it's time to test uh, press number 62. Mini half wood press. I test all the presses I make by printing intaglio for the most part, but this is a special case. I started with the typography using Adobe Photoshop and printed it out on my black and white laser printer. And then I ironed it on to some safety cut. I use safety cut because it's uh, pretty fast to cut and uh, pretty simple. I'm going to be using uh, two colors of relief oil base printing ink from Daniel Smith. One is a red, permanent red, and the other is just a touch of black to give myself a nice deep rose color. And I'm going to add three drops of cobalt dryer because this print has to dry fast. It has to dry overnight. So three drops in that small amount of ink is all it takes to speed up the drying. Roll it out with my brayer, nice and smooth, go in two directions, and start inking my safety cut block. better. No. I've got one more. This time I'll put this on here. prevented the creep. No, it still creeped. No, it didn't. It's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Now we let those dry overnight. I have my materials and my little tools all set out here. I have the plate. I'm making an addition of 49 of these copper plates for testing. My ink slab. Under the slab I have paper damping. From my uh, print that I printed yesterday, since this woman who bought the press likes to use relief printing, so I made a relief uh, block to go with this one. I printed it yesterday. Little rags, talcum powder, miracle gel reducer for making the ink easier to wipe. This is my intaglio ink. It's an oil-based ink. Spatula, squeegee, sticky pad, which is that kind of handy kitchen non-skid plastic that you can buy, stapled to a piece of quarter-inch plywood. And the tarlatan. I keep in a plastic bag. I'm printing with black today, so I'll choose my black tarlatan. These are the blankets I use for testing. They're a um, little bit old, so I don't have to damage the owner's new blankets if I had an accident. And the box, which includes those blankets and the user's manual and a test plate and uh, Allen wrench and other items that are included with the press and of course 
the certificate of authenticity. So with that, I'm ready to go. First, I'll put out some ink, mix it up, and apply it to the plate. It's a hot, sticky day in Seattle, so I have to dry off my hands with talcum powder for this last and final wipe, the hand wipe. But not too much talcum powder, or else it'll clog up the ink. I decided that the ink uh, was awfully stiff, so I added a hot plate to my supplies over there little travel iron mounted upside down in a box. Ink always prints a little better when its slate is warmed. So that plate is ready for the first trial proof. My paper is waiting. Paper that I printed yesterday with the relief block. Now I'll load the press with blankets. Give my hands a good dusting so that they're not going to get some of that ink on my blankets. Before I load the press, I like to turn it all the way down till the rollers are touching the bed. That way I'm assured that they're level. The rollers have to be level. Then I count backwards in half turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is about right. And then I can load the blankets. The sizing catcher goes on the bottom. That's the thinner of the two blankets the Mini Halfwood Press uses. Warm the plate. As I said, it prints a little bit better when it's warm. Not so hot that I can't handle it comfortably. Get my damp book with the proofs that I printed yesterday from the relief block and I put the worst one of the four on top. At least I think I did. Yes. I have four of them in here and the best one I'm saving for last. This is the first trial proof I'll use. I might point out that the uh, material I used to print yesterday was this easy uh, safety cut soft uh, relief printing uh, using the chase but now of course I'm printing in Talio so there's no chase involved also uh, the ink is totally dry and I ran it under water briefly and put it in a plastic bag for about three hours For the convenience of the video, I'll turn the press around to show the, the proof. And there's the first trial proof. Not bad. Kind of nice. But now I have to print the next three. There it is, as they say, the one we were looking for. That completes the test. Thank you for watching. I'm Bill Ritchie. And oh, by the way, observant viewers may have noticed that the print is numbered 63. And I can, uh, all I can say is uh, good for you for noticing that and uh, too bad for me for making the mistake. Goodbye.